Welcome Pisces to your mid-July reading of 2023. We're going to get right into what do you need to know about your finances this mid-July along with love area and a high vibrational card. Now about your finances Pisces, we are in, if you're not familiar or familiar with astrology, astrology is a science. You probably are if you're at this channel, maybe, maybe not. Comment down below. We are currently in Saturn in retrograde in your sign, Pisces, okay? So it's going to be scanning through some areas in a logical way for you to address matters and not overthinking and so much more in your finances, in love, and in your vibration, okay? Um, you can, uh, you know, look, review that, look that up. If you want me to do a video on that Saturn and retrograde in Pisces, just let me know, but we're currently in that. So what does Pisces need to know about their finances this mid-July, okay? All right. Okay. All right. So right now, with your finances, you've got some strong areas that you're not paying a close enough attention about your finances. Sometimes you get off track about your finances. There's five strong areas, but you're worrying about the two in the back of you, which right now those two are there, but you've got five that's working for you. One is your brain. You're a great thinker and you can think through anything and create very quickly, but you have to rely on your creativity, rely on that. Your, your five elements in your finances is who, what, when, why, and how. Okay, so those are your five things to work with the mid-July, okay? The two other ones that's standing right here are already rooted and seeded. You got those mastered, okay? So you don't have to go back and pick that back up. Don't revisit old things that's already ready and rooted and grounded for you, okay? And then we have, go on and use your abilities to manipulate matters that fit you okay so when we're talking about manipulating you can control things with your mind where you can look at your finances look at them and get them to multiply just by your intuition and surrendering your energy to know that you can unveil anything with your mind Okay, and that means maybe every day taking some downtime to just think about your finances, believe them coming through for you and multiplying for you using your mental power, you know, of meditating and sitting, being still. Okay, and then we have once you're doing that, then Everything is coming up for you, but it's one powerful way of your finances that will show up very powerful for you. And that is um, a, there will be a double of clients coming through. There's actually a bonus things that will be coming through and your job aspect, but you have to pay attention to it. Okay, pay attention to it. And don't think it's for other people, it's for you. It's for you, okay? So that's what you need to know about your finances. Now, how do we, how do you improve your love life situation? How do you improve your love life situation, Pisces? Okay. All right. So improving your love life situation, you have to stop focusing on what is old? What is, you know, kind of like how we say crying over spilled milk, like stop. <laughs> okay. Stop. You, I mean, it's done. It's nothing that you could do about old things, whining over it. It's nothing that you could do about that. Just say to yourself, I free myself from past feelings. I can't do anything about that. But I can do with what I do have standing before me. I have people that love me. I have a powerful love life. Okay? And you say that to yourself because you do. All right? Now, this comes down to you binding yourself up to 
making, creating issues that you don't necessarily have to create. Okay. And this is from past experiences, people that in your previous love life, it may be coming up where people that once backstabbed you, those emotions may be coming up. And then you may wake up where you're feeling angry and mad because the tides are moving around because we're in water energy right now that is surfacing up those past feelings of past backstabbing relationships. But that's not where you currently are now. So you have to move forward. And if it is coming back up, you thank yourself for being free from that. It's not always easy, but just let it kind of float like a cloud. You know how when we look up in the sky and the clouds just drift away? When these things are coming up, just say, I'll let that drift away. Okay? And then we have here, you're not being grounded. And you have to find your groundedness. You're not being grounded in love. You've been very flighty, sorry, <laughs> okay? Flighty and floody all over the place. And you have to, to be successful in the rest of this mid-July in your motion, you have to be grounded. And grounded is sit down and think about it for yourself, for self-care, okay? Okay, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. Not being vengeful about it, but being self-made for that. Because keep in mind, at the end of the day, you are in control of you and you can't control any other scenarios. You can only control as best as you can that that you can control over you. And then the rest is basically giving it up to the divine. And in, in, in reality, first give it up to the divine. And then that that you can't control, put it back to the divine. And every day, put that in them kind of steps in serenity and you'll see them move out the way and then you'll feel more grounded. Okay, Pisces? So let's get our vibrational card for this mid-July. Healing myself, right on point. <laughs> Healing myself heals my lintage. Healing yourself heals your lineage. Your lineage is you, your branches and who you are and those that are extensions of you. When you heal you, you heal your trees, your limbs, those that are attached to you. But first and foremost, you first. Take time for you, Pisces, this mid-July. Etch a sketch that time in, no matter what. No matter what. Okay? So, this is your mid-July reading. Contact me for your personalized readings. HTTPS double colon slash slash ecliptispiritualist7.com. There you will find me to book your personalized readings, see the offerings that I have, and so much more. I would love to offer you your reading of value and clear-cut answers that will serve you well. Have a great mid-July, Pisces. I'll see you later.